Okay, so hi guys. Uh, it is currently uh, nighttime, and uh, that would be around 12 o'clock at night. And uh, I just felt like uh, pulling out the camera and uh, doing a video. Uh, sorry, I haven't been able to uh, make a video in a very long time. I actually had made a video, but I never got it finished. So at a later date, I will publish that video as like a past kind of thing. But uh, today, what I wanted to talk about mainly was teachers, and in particular, English teachers. My my English teachers. Okay, so uh, it's starting at ninth grade. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone gets an English one teacher, and mine happened to be a male named Glenn Dillahay. Now, anyone who had Glenn Dillahay who lives in my area is know where I'm going with this. He was the most funny English teacher I ever had. Uh, but at the time, I, he was just, it seemed that he would pick on me a lot, uh, to the point where like uh, everyone would get a have to do a project right and uh, uh, being at honors English one uh, everyone would get a uh, 103s and uh, it would just be mine that would be 102 because I missed a picture or something but uh, I really liked him and he was really funny because uh, he had these knickknacks he actually had a rubber chicken that he kept in his uh, desk and uh, every now and again he would go and get it and uh, squawk it behind some unsuspecting student's ear and really flip them out and it was hilarious. Uh, if you happen to be watching this, uh, Mr. Dillahay, I uh, credit to you to most of my uh, English knowledge so far in, this, in, in my life during school. It really helped me out and uh, that's bonus teacher points for you. Alright, so English 2, uh, that would be 10th grade for me, uh, pretty sure 10th grade for everybody, uh, but I don't know, I don't know, some people, uh, like to, uh, do English or school stuff over the summer and, like, I, it's weird, I would never do stuff over the summer, but English 2 for me, uh, my teacher's name was, uh, I really don't know her first name, but her name was McCullough, and she goes to my high school that's currently, she works at my high school that I'm currently going to, uh, she too would pick on me. But I can, I can hardly blame her because I used to goof off in her class. Uh, she was by far the best teacher that I can think of that I had that year because when I look back on the information that she taught I, I could really use that information. I did. I, th I just, at the time, I thought she just hated me and uh, was just picking on me just to get laughs from the class, but uh, I really do like the information that she gave me. Like, uh, well, that's kind of, <laughs> I'm very sorry. Uh, I'm kind of at a blank on the information part. Uh, I do remember one thing from her class, uh, her old saying uh, to get us to stop using the words if and but. She would uh, say if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, that's basically the main thing that I remember besides the countless uh, being called turkey and uh, getting hit over the head with a stack of papers that was kind of burnt into my memory. Thank you, Miss McCullough. Uh, really enjoyed your class, and uh, on to English 3. Now, English 3, I had a teacher named Miss Stevenson. Uh, she worked at the same high school that I went to, obviously, because I'm in grade 11 now. And uh, I really liked her. She was a really nice teacher. Uh, she really helped me with my essays and all that other stuff because I'm not that very good of a writer. Although, I am writing a book, and uh, details will be in future videos, and uh, I might even read you some. Uh, but it's, I, I, I really used uh, the essay as a, some kind of a starter. See, I started my book in her class, actually, as a, it was a short story uh, assignment that just started this entire thing off in my head. And uh, uh, let's 
see if it can go somewhere. Uh, I'll read you chapter one sometime uh, in the future, future video. Uh, but she, I think she left the school this uh, year because I haven't been able to see, uh, find her or talk to her at all. But Miss Stevenson was a really nice, sweet teacher, and uh, like I said, she really helped me with my essays and stuff. And I actually got a pretty decent grade on my TCAP test that year because of her and what she taught me. So that was uh, my English 3 teacher. And uh, currently, seeing as I am a senior, I am enrolled in English 4. Now, I will tell you of my favorite English teacher ever. Her name is Miss Higgs. She is by far my favorite teacher of this year for English that I've had. Well, actually, she's one of my favorite teachers that I have this entire year in my semester. So, let's uh, spend some time on her. Uh, she... Cur uh, currently, the reason that she is my favorite is because uh, she is my lunch period teacher. So I have like four different segments. For uh, There's like four lunches. And each lunch period is like 23 minutes long. And uh, two of them are spent to make a class. One of them is a supervised study. And then one of them, the student goes to lunch. I have fourth lunch, which means my first two lunch periods are her class. My third one is uh, the uh, supervised study, and then I go off to lunch. Uh, and <laughs> she's just my favorite teacher because she's got the best sense of humor ever, and she lets me goof off in class a lot. Uh, more on Miss Higgs. Uh, currently, I'm working on a research paper, and, uh, well... The research paper is going kind of well, but uh, midway into finding my uh, sources, because we had to find three sources in one day, which was actually kind of really tough, because I'm not very good at finding sources, although I did complete all three sources every three days, so that makes nine sources. But uh, midway through my sources that I was finding, uh, she told me that uh, I couldn't do my research paper over a manager who owns a restaurant. Because that's what I want to be. I want to be. I want to own my own restaurant. And more of that at a later date. Uh, I will. I will make a video of uh, what I want to be, and uh, designing and all that other stuff. But sh it was. As soon as she told me it, I said. That's that's crap. And then she just started laughing, and then the other teacher started laughing, and I died a little bit inside. It's like my dreams were shattered. But no, uh, yeah, she's she's uh, my favorite English teacher by far. Uh, if you're watching this, Miss Hit, uh, if you're watching this, Miss Higgs, then uh, you have been put into one of my YouTube videos, and uh, looks like I got the last laugh. Thank you. Uh, friends in my English class are very nice. I've got my friend Jacob. Actually, I have two friends named Jacob. Uh, I have Ricky. I have Tabitha, Laterica. Sup, Laterica Tabitha. What's up to all my friends in my English class? All right, I just Jacob, Jacob, Ricky, Laterica, Lacey, Alexa, just all y'all. Sup. All right. So, seeing as this is the end of the video, I want you to do something very that will help me. See, I want to know about your English teachers. So, either make. A video, well, actually, you're going to have to make a video response. Uh, make a video response about your teachers up to your point. So if you're a junior, only talk about your junior, sophomore, and freshman teachers and all that other stuff. So, yeah, just uh, make a video response. Uh, if you happen to be one of my friends, it, uh, uh, if you happen to be one of my friends and uh, you have a YouTube channel, most of my friends don't, or they just, I don't know, uh, they just watch YouTubes, they don't, that, uh, it's a whole nother other thing, but, uh, if you have a YouTube channel, then, uh, it's very simple, all you gotta do is just hit the subscribe button up above, and you'll get, uh, a little note on your, uh, YouTube page when my next video comes out, which I will be trying to make one every weekend, uh, if you really like this video, then, uh, 
go down to the uh, favorites and uh, save it to your favorites or uh, whatever. And uh, that's about it. That's all I have to say. Uh, next week, I will come up with something else. Bye.